as I've been getting prepared to leave for the trail, one of the things that most people I've talked to about the trip are surprised by is that I plan on sleeping in a hammock for the entire trail. And they seem to be more surprised that most of my sleep system um, I built myself. Um, so I figured I'd put together a quick video to kind of show everybody what I'm actually going to use and then particularly the things that I made myself. Okay, so here is just the standard hammock. It's a standard uh, 11 foot gather, gathered in hammock. Um, the way I rig it is with Dutch spider straps. You can ignore the green straps. This is my backyard, so that's the way I typically hang it when I'm in the backyard. Then it comes down to a set of Dutch beetles. These are particularly nice. Um, because when my wife and I want to hang together, we can use a spreader bar and hang two hammocks off of two trees. Then down to a set of homemade whoopee slings, which will help us adjust length to a gathered end. Continuous ridge line made out of zingit. And then just a pretty standard hammock. I'll go ahead and throw the uh, insulation system on it and we can take a look at that. Okay, so let's talk about the insulation system that I made. All the materials I got from Ripstop by the Roll. Um, and it's essentially uh, constructed of a, a taffeta nylon on the inside. I think it's a point... I think it's a point zero six three taffeta nylon. And the outside is a, a nylon that's calendared to help break some of the wind. It uses a 7.5 ounce per square yard apex as insulation. And the same goes for the uh, top quilt. So essentially I just made a sandwich of those three layers. Built one channel in the top that will hold the quilt up underneath me. I did leave some gaps here in case I want to add hooks later to hold it to the hammock. Then this single continuous piece of shot cord comes up to a beaner on the suspension then comes back down to a line lock so top line holds the quilt up and where it attaches on the bottom helps bring it toward my head or toward my feet pretty straightforward build it was pretty easy to build I did it in both pieces in the weekend um, inside top quilt is built the same way let me lay it out on the ground real quick so you can get a better view In addition to that, on the underquilt, I have a bungee cord along here, along the foot and the head, uh, to keep it tight so hopefully there's no air gaps when I'm laying in it. So here's the top quilt laying on the ground upside down. You can see. I went ahead and did a sewn foot box because this is primarily going to be for winter. And it's got not, lots of nice padding. I kind of overstuffed the foot so I'd have warm toes. Um, as you go up, you'll see about 20, somewhere around 20 inches up. I went ahead and did some sewing to make a strain relief in here. Then you'll see where the snap is to hold it together there. I put some clips on it. Um, they're flat clips, they shouldn't bother me, but that way I can use elastic to tie it to a ground pad if I actually go to the ground to sleep. Another set of clips here. And then as you move up to the head, you'll notice there's a channel around the head with a draw bungee cord to lock it tightly around my head and a set of snaps so that way I can get it tight around my neck. In addition to that, I threw a bungee along the side as well 
which tends to hold it really tightly to my shoulders. So all along here there's bungee. All along here there's bungee. All the way up to the head. And there's a separate bungee that goes around the neck. And that seems to, uh, from my tests anyway, that seems to um, be, keep me pretty tightly sealed. So that's my uh, sleep and insulation system. I'll go ahead and uh, throw my tarp on as well so you can see what hopefully will keep me dry. So here's the uh, tarp that I made. Uh, material is from Ripstop by the Roll. Um, it is actually their pre-cut winter hex tarp kit. Um, I've made a couple before and the pre-cut cat curves made this a really quick project. It was done in a day. Um, so like my other tarps that I use, it uh, uses Zingit for a continuous ridge line and I'm actually using some Dutchware gear hardware. Now for a lot of people who know me that'll surprise them because I'm kind of a knot geek. I used to be a rigger, a volunteer rigger on a tall ship and I love knots but man I found that Dutch is bling as they call it um, works very fast and it's really light. So let me kind of just go through the suspension real quick. So it's got a continuous ridge line. Here at the head end I use a Dutch hook. And then over top my snake skin. This is a continuous ridge line above the tarp. And here I'm using a little Prusik soft shackle um, to hold the tarp tight. Another soft shackle with a Prusik knot. Going to a Dutch wasp. Let's see if I can get that so you can see it. Dutch wasp. And that holds the suspension. So, I've got the doors open right now on this, but the doors can completely shut this off. And then for the tie outs on the corners, I went ahead and put in little D rings, a little bit of a shock cord, and then fleas from Dutchware. And then I'm using MSR Groundhog stakes with a short bit of a zingit attached to it. Well, that's pretty much it. I could uh, put the doors down, but I might, if anybody has an interest, I can do a more of an overview on the tarp another time it's getting dark oh i will add real quickly that i went ahead and put on panel pull out so you can see that this wasn't that long ago because you can still see the talcum powder um, but this is uh to allow me to use a pole most likely my tracking poles to use a pole mod to give me a bunch more room inside but we can go over that another day if it's something that people are curious about all in all that's my sleep system. The only thing I'll add is um, I do also have a Dutchware um, sock, winter sock, for a little added warmth if I need it. And I'm um, going to acquire um, a bag liner for just a little more security. Um, I will say the other night I slept out here, it was 21 degrees, and I slept out overnight with uh, the sock um, and the doors shut, and I was pretty toasty warm. So hopefully this will work for me. Got a few more test hikes to find out for real, if it will. Um, but at this point, this is what I plan on taking with me. 
Uh, so kind of to recap what I made myself for those that think it's kind of crazy to make your own gears. I made this tarp. Um, I made the hammock that I showed you and I made both the under quilt and the top quilt for this. So there you go. Just a quick uh, overview of my sleep system and what I plan on sleeping in. Um, I'll also add that once summer arrives or I'm leaving in early February. So I would think somewhere around April. A lot of this will get switched out and I'll go to my lighter weight summer uh, hex tarp without the doors and I'll go to my lighter weight um, top and under quilts. That's the one advantage to making your own gear is that you can always make another one. It's a whole lot cheaper than buying your own and uh, as long as you can use a sewing machine it's not very difficult to do. There's plenty of information on the web of how to do it. Um, none of this is original to me. Um, I got this information from searching uh, YouTube and other places online like uh, hammock gear forums and places like that. Um, so it's, it's definitely within anyone's capability to do it.